hot non-human characters with 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 the fi the angel fish from Finding Nemo. You got my attention. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where it is a brand new day and a brand new computer setup. Woo! Because we're playing a really intense game today. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Hello Neighbor 2. Uh, I'm very excited to analyze every frame of the game. Uh, I'm going to go bit by bit and then create all the theories about it. As, as Twitter has told me time and time again, I am very excited to analyze this frame by frame. Uh, but before we get to analyzing Hello Neighbor frame by frame, Got a fresh computer! It is hot and fresh and rainbow-tastic, and hopefully it's powerful enough to play Hello Neighbor 2 without inundating us with the sound of overheating fans everywhere. Uh, last time we played the Hello Neighbor 2 demo, it sounded like we were literally on the runway of an airport ready to take off! Or that we were sitting really close to a bomb, and it was it was very scary for all of us here. Uh, but it's here. I it looks beautiful. I get to look down in the corner, and now I just see cir circulating rainbows everywhere. So we are a far cry from the days of our old Alienware that got sent to us from Oculus, like five by Oculus, like five years ago, because they're like, "Hey, play VR. VR is a cool thing." And we're like, "Yeah, that sounds great." And they're like, "Here's a computer that's powerful enough to play VR." I'm like, "Great," because I wouldn't have gone out and bought that myself. So this is not accessible to the regular person, but I'm happy to take it. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to start off with here is because Ash has been busy setting up this new computer, and we have Hello Neighbor ready to go. Yeah, we do. Great, but. Before we do, it gets a fresh computer, which means it's completely blank. Which means, I, Ash told me to bring up YouTube to play, like, a single video uh, so we could test the audio. So that way audio hookups are all good and stuff. Before I touched anything, I was curious what YouTube in 2022, 20, I guess this is the end of 2022 as we're filming this. It'll probably go up, like, early 2023, like, one of the first uploads. Because uh, this is the week between Christmas and New Year that we're filming this. Uh, that's why I'm also completely stuffed up because I had neurovirus and it has cascaded into literally speed running every weird health effect that I've ever read. It's very strange. That's a whole nother separate thing for another day. But we have a fresh computer with no history whatsoever, no cookies, anything. And I was curious what, what YouTube looks like when you log in. Um, with no account signed in. This is like the first time we have opened up a, a internet browser. But it must know something, because it's, I mean, the fact that it's picked out out of everything, a gaming, like, it, it's weird, this, this feels like a weird pull for a completely blank computer, doesn't it, Ash? I mean... Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not judging the, the quality of the videos presented <laughs> to us by Point Crow. I've never actually watched Point Crow, so I, I'll have to check him out. Uh, but, it is odd that that would be, like, number one position... Like, oh, you're going to do game. Like, Mr. Beast having, like, 500 spots doesn't really surprise me because he is the, the essence that is YouTube at this point. Him and YouTube have fused uh, into the singularity at this point. So, like, I'm not surprised that he dominates, like, all of these. But, like, this, Dr. Mike, something about, like, TikTok and health and, like, general interest. Like, that makes sense to me. Peanut butter and jelly from scratch. Okay, like a food thing. That's cool. This is compelling. Preston plays. Ooh, a rainbow Minecraft block. That's cool. More Mr. Beast, sure. Then this. Chanel. All right. Great. It's an odd mix. Also, you see the range of views. It's it's interesting as YouTube's trying to figure out what type of viewer we are. Uh, so you have like, hey, here's a massively popular video that'll get you down his like challenge pipeline. Here's a reaction video. Uh... Here's like something that's middle, a lot of middle length stuff, 12, 13, 20. Here's shorter than 10. And then here's a one minuter, which is interesting, in a foreign language. Also, 250 views. Wonder why? Very curious about that. That's, this is a, so this is a weird pull without them having any information, which makes me think they must have something on me, on this new computer. And then this, 250 views. Like, why? That's, that's odd. Huh, fascinating. Maybe we were saying gaming too loud. 
Yeah, I, 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 it could be like, oh, let's game. Are you ready to game today, Ash? Because that's normal things that we say in a, in a typical day of our conversation. Yeah, and then I responded, I'm so ready to be gaming, Matt. My entire life is gaming. Right? We came in. It's, it's, that's what it is. Ash, you have stumbled across it. Because clearly, you know, we all know it's listening to us, right? And so I, as is normal, as is procedure in and around the office, I come down from, from where I'm working on my computer on a script. I come into the room. Ash is here. Yep. And I'm like, Ash! Are you ready to game? At which point Ash gives me the requisite response of, Why, yes, Matthew Patrick, I am very ready to game. And then I'm like, okay, let me sit down on my gamer chair, and then we shall game together. Yes, our gaming for our Game Theory live channel where we right. play games. Yes, so so we definitely did that. So we've definitely seeded that. So that makes more sense. And then I'm like, oh man, what are you having for lunch today, Ash? I know me, I, could, I have a real hankering for a peanut butter and jelly. And I say... Wow, even though I am all grown up, I sure do love a peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> At which point, I'm like, hey, how's decorating your house, Ash? And I say, you know, it's pretty good, but everything I touch turns to rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, the rainbow thing, because I was talking about the RGB. Oh. I was talking about the rain, I'm like, ooh, look at the computer, it spins rainbows. There you go. I don't remember mentioning Minecraft, but that's fine. You know, everything I touch turns to rainbow. <laughs> and then and then, that, then there was that moment where we spoke Japanese to each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, Specifically, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, Ash, what did you get for Christmas? <laughs> and then we spoke Japanese <laughs> about your new Chanel handbag. Yep. Clearly. We sure did. We, konnichiwa. I'm not even going to try. Domo arigato. <laughs> not going yeah, there. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then on the shorts front. Ha oh, hashtag Wednesday Adams Wednesday. Is it Wednesday today? Hashtag Wednesday. Yeah. Yesterday we were like, wow, it's Wednesday. We were yesterday. We were like, whoa, Wednesday. It's great. <laughs> so anyway, a lot. Wow. A lot of Wednesday Adams, actually. It's a big show right now. I, I mean, it is a big show, but still. <laughs> Wow. Huh. Interesting. I went back to uh, Mr. Beast, unspeakable stuff. Dr. Mike. A lot of Dr. Mike. Hey, look, it's Phineas Gage. HMANDVD.com, Looney Tunes. Just, and then just like five hours of Looney Tunes. <laughs> Ripped off Looney Tunes! Yeah! That's what a new user on YouTube wants. Yeah, completely stolen Looney Tunes cartoons. All right, fascinating. Well, I mean, that's what 28 million people wanted. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. Like, free TV that you can just put on, that's great. Yeah. Fantastic. A, a, one minute of a bleak trailer, okay? Huh. Fascinating. Oh, there's a Sniper. Usually when I see, like... Because I've, I've seen, like, fresh pages of YouTube before, and usually Sniper Wolf's on there because she's, for lack of a better... Like, she's one of the girls on YouTube, and so... Like, they're like, oh, YouTube, maybe this person would like female-oriented content. Here is a girl. And then, and who also reacts to things. And she uses TikTok a lot, so here's the thing. Like, that's, I think, what the algorithm, or at this point, the neural network is trying to test out with that. Another Looney Tunes. We, really leaning in hard into the Looney Tunes bets. YouTube. Kahoot be like, yeah, am I right? Kahoot be like, be like that. Tier list with schlatt. Okay. Everything I touch turns to again? Again? Huh. It's really... Everything I touch turns to rainbow. Weird. And then rainbow friends. Rainbow friends. Yeah, rainbow, rainbow. A lot of rainbow. And like, look, me of all people love a good rainbow. Sure, of course. How, however. It's not, it's not your like dictating force when it comes to content trends. I mean, some people might argue that it is. That's so... This is fascinating. Huh. All right, there you go, friends. That is what uh, YouTube has to offer us here at the end of 2022 and early 2023. How, do, how does that make you feel, Ash? Uh, I'm actually surprised by how limited the selection is. And again, it must have sensed like three words that we have thrown out there. And then it like, here it is. What if I refresh it? Yeah. Now that we've talked more. Oh, thank goodness. The one with the battery and the nose. Great. Okay, Eric. I'm, I'm glad to see Eric on there. First, everyone to fly to Ohio. <gasps> they know you're from Ohio. They do. They were listening. They were. Some, I didn't talk about Ohio. They know there. There must be something logged in. Have you? What? What have we? 
Ohio. Take to China from Ohio. At four? Not at 4 a.m., Flamingo! Flamingo, you're a maniac! Dig to China from Ohio at 4 a.m.? No! No! You monster. You were, t you were taking your life in your own hands. Tell you what, though, at 4 a.m., Waffle House. If you're going to Ohio yes. at 4 a.m., Waffle House is the place you're going to go. Yes. It's a win. Oh, heard, heard about sore backs. We were talking about sore backs. Yep. Broken bodies. They heard that. Oh, yeah. This is, this is accurate. This is disgusting. Michael Jordan's diet. Great. They really want us to have this rainbow one. Done with horror games. Okay. Poor X can't shit. Huh. Interesting. How Here. is Santa still alive? <laughs> one more. So they knew I was from Ohio. All ridiculous drivers. I don't know. That, that's just probably like a, oh, here's a popular vibe. They're, they're like, he's not clicking on anything. Give him something else. Give him something else that we know is going to work. Uh, fail army. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, memes. He likes memes. Maybe he likes the memes. Memes. He likes memes. Wait, why, why isn't he clicking on it? The, the neural network is freaking out right now. It's like, we, we have a video that they're going to click on, right? Darman. Everyone loves Darman. Ever, kid becomes a grown up for 24. Look. Great. Nice. Modern assault rifle. A golden toilets. Everyone loves that. Went undercover in a blue only tournament. Oh, Fortnite. Maybe, maybe this is a kid who still likes Fortnite after all these years. Maybe he's, he's still flossing. Give him some floss content. A lot of, a lot of people flipping me off in all these <laughs> thumbnails. I will say, I'm noticing a lot of thumbnails of people just flipping me off. Wow. There isn't a man who wouldn't love to have this. I don't know. I might be a man who wouldn't love to have that. I mean, is that, is that a, is, it's a gun? I don't, I don't know. It looks like there's a little chair on top. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Here I am sitting on a chair. You know. Me Megalodon. 27 million people being like, no way, there's a Megalodon? A Galadon. <laughs> Magala. <laughs> Still Ohio. Speed run rhythm games is hard. Aw, Jaden. Yeah. We race to visit the most U.S. states. All that sports ball that I love to consume. I'd love it. So much sports ball. Among Us. Among Us. Uh-huh. They Ooh. saw. No, they didn't see him. <gasps> the, the phony. The phony. Hiding. It's gone. They don't realize that there's a difference between the phony and the imposter. All right. Hey, so that's YouTube. That was fun. Thank yeah. you for this little digression, everyone. That was great. Should we do Hello Neighbor? Should we do Hello Neighbor? Should we? <sighs> or should we just continue going down the YouTube funnel right now? I think we should take all of the recommendations that we've seen and put them on the tier list and rank them. Wow. I think... All the recommended videos? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Let's do it. Let's... We're doing it live. We're going to do Hello <laughs> Neighbor. But instead, we're going to tier list maker. There it is. <laughs> this is chaos, Ash. We're going pure chaos here. Ooh. Ooh, is that oh, Sonic? Spice. Sonic ranks Sonic Girls. <laughs> oh, no. Sonic. Sonic. Are they're you, all they're all best girls. They're all best girls. They're Sonic. all the best. Ooh, um, are you a Sonic and Sally Acorn person or a Sonic and Amy Rose person? Ooh, ooh, uh, yeah. Here's the thing. I like Amy, but Sally. But Sally. But Acorn. Sally. Yeah, she's the OG. Yeah, Sally is the OG. Yeah, and, Sa and Sally is, you know, she's she's a looker. She's adventurous. <laughs> yeah. She's independent. Yes. She's strong-willed. Mm -hmm. She's smart. She's great. She has the, she has total package. Amy, a little bit needy. Like, don't get me wrong. I like Amy as a character, but as far as relationships go, if I'm tier ranking, you know, she's an anchor on my leg of life. She's a brick, and I'm drowning slowly. Whoa! She, wow, she, that's a hot take. She she needs a. She is a very needy person. Whereas Sally's like, hey, let's go take out Robotnik. You're not with me, Sonic. I'm taking out Robotnik. Yeah. Amy's like, but Sonic. <laughs> she's a lot but i she's love her for that I, sure but as far as if i'm sonic oh and, but if and you're I'm, sonic and you're rating the sonic girls but oh i'm wow no no Among please us? this is um I, right <laughs> tear maker right just among us we could rank the among us colors <laughs> Isn't this just a color ranking? <laughs> Wouldn't this just be color? Sus list? Uh, you do understand that every iteration of Among Us, it, like, refreshes every, like, 15 minutes. Like, 
There is no definitive Among Us tier list because there is no definitive Among Us. There's colors. Right. You can rank the colors, but then you're just ranking colors. But you know how red is sus? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. I mean, we're all aware that red is sus, but <laughs> red might be more or less sus on a particular... Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so concerning. It is. Okay. 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 What what other what other tier lists are in tr- Battle Cats? Barbie? Barbie. Barbie tier lists. <laughs> I kind of think we should do Barbie. The Barbie movies. All the Barbie movies. Barbie villains, obviously. Because we all know our, our Barbie villains. Clearly. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all of Barbie's villains. There's a lot. Are you familiar with any of the Barbie movies? Certainly not. Really? I, I am. Here's the thing. Everyone at home and Ash in the room. I have spent a lot of time teaching myself a lot of stupid pop culture trivia. Yeah. I have d- dove into the depths of yep. <laughs> some of the most inane IP that anyone could... I have played some of the worst games ever created. Like, I have beaten Yonoid for the original Nintendo system. Uh-huh, great. It was a it was a game made by Domino's back in the day. It was not particularly great, but I played it through to completion. Yeah. I played the entirety of like battle, to, like just weird. Some of the worst. Superman sixty four, one of the worst games of all time by everyone. Yes. By anyone that I have beaten that whole thing. <laughs> Barbie movies, I have not gotten there. You're I have not out. prioritized it. But you know what? I bet I'm gonna have to because the Barbie movie's coming out. We should all go see the Barbie movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should. We should all go see the Barbie movie. Can you, me, Steph, and then I don't know if I can name the other friends yeah. in the back. Sam, we've talked about we've Sam talked, and Josiah. We've yeah. They were in the other video. Yeah, Hot Ones uh, has already come out by this point. Hot Ones has come out, but also Sam and Josiah were in, we've talked about them when they were in uh, the GT, the Game Theory episode. So yes. I'm like, hey, Sam and Josiah right behind me. Okay, cool. So they were mentioned in yep. that. Sorry, I'm sniffing. I'm yeah, like... I also sound disgusting. Sorry, we're disgusting. Um, Today is going to be a casual day here yeah. at GT Live. This is going to be like, hey, it's the beginning of the year. Kick back, Kick back. relax. We could have we played Hello Neighbor. But like, let's <laughs> but make it tier really, list. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. We'll get at least one video. Yeah, but, but like not right not right now. No. This is this is casual day. Yeah. This is casual work day. Okay. Sorry. It's the week between Christmas and New Year. Uh, we gotta film something. Yeah. But like Let's make it fun. Yeah, let's make it fun. Okay. Let's make it fun. But yeah. You, me, Steph, Sam Josiah, we're going to the Barbie movie. Okay. Have you seen those memes of like b- us buying tickets to the Barbie movie and then it's like Spock and Bones and like Tim Kirk and they're like standing around Barbie movie <laughs> memes I'm not us so. buying tickets to the Barbie I love movie that we're on Barbie <laughs> movie memes now see this is what happens when we don't come in with a plan this is this is how we our day to day life we had a plan we did actually we did have a plan that that is we totally just right. didn't want to do it Barbie princess movie starter pack <laughs> I'm princess Stop. Mary Sue and I have to save the day Bruna best friend in blue slash purple. <laughs> what? <laughs> Very bad evil lady. <laughs> Abomination intended to be cute. Prince dude. Comic relief monster. Obnoxious songs. Message about friendship or believing yourself. Please buy our toys. Oh, it's like a bingo card. Um, it's the Barbie movie bingo card, except it's like the Barbie at home video. Yeah. I'm Princess Mary Sue and I have to save the day. The best friend is apparently always in blue and purple. Good to know. These, I love that these tropes exist. This is great. What? Oh, what? we're mixing some Star Wars here. Oh, here. Oh, oh no, we're in a chives list. Okay. Okay, he's he's Ken. Oh, I I just wanted the meme man. I just wanted. I don't care. Greta Gerwig writing the Barbie movie. Barbie, is that your given name? I'm giving it to myself. Wait, hold. On. I just want. I just want to see the memes, man. Here image open image open link oh oh get out of here okay we're done here yeah yeah no. back to tier list right. we're done yeah we're gonna go see the barbie movie it's gonna be great okay so we, we are going to go see the well barbie and speaking movie. of like the weird arcane stuff that i am constantly exposing myself to yeah. tonight assuming i feel good um <laughs> as I, tonight assuming i'm not gonna inflict everyone with whatever i have neurovirus so who, that that's not contagious um but the, unless you eat me raw, uh, don't, unless you eat me without cooking. Uh, but 
tonight I'm supp- I, I'm apparently going to go see I'm 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 apparently uh, this is my choice I'm going to see Puss in Boots The Last Wish because oh, really? everyone online not many people have seen this thing because why would you it's Puss in Boots 2 coming out like 10 years after the original Puss in Boots which was like <laughs> everyone was like yeah so I'm like ugh, I don't really need to see this right usually I'll like there's movies I want to see there's movies I want want to I have to see and then there's movies I'm like excited about everything right um but this one I'm like I don't have to see this right I like animation movies, but I'm like, oh, Puss in Boots. Like, that's just the, like the Shrek spinoffs. But apparently everyone online is like, who has bothered to see it, because the theaters have been empty for this thing, are like, this thing slaps so hard. Really? And is so good. Really? Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and like film reviewers that I usually trust the judgment of, as well as like film reviewers who have like has I watch a lot of different film reviewers on YouTube and, and the film essayist channels. So people who are like usually all in on animation and Disney and DreamWorks and things like that. But also people who are like, I, I'll talk about these movies, but really what I prefer is like the indie art house films. And so like I like getting a spectrum of, of people's opinions and I love hearing that's how I expose myself to like a lot of different things, right? And and all of them have said like pussy like i went into this being like do i have to or oh i got a screener for this like oh i guess i'll get around to it eventually and all of them were like this was so good like huh. people are like oh this is like one of the best animated features i've seen in the last decade really yeah puss in boots too the last wish apparently wow. it's got like deep messages about like death <laughs> yeah really? apparently the villains are phenomenal yeah i'm very excited about it no way not seen it don't take it as a recommendation, but take it from me as someone who watches a lot of other people's recommendations and filters it to you. Apparently, the Puss in Boots movie is really good. No one's going to see it, so, you know. But I'm I'm going to try. Get your tickets. I'm going to get my ticket. Get your tickets now. I was going to Puss in Boots 2 and buying tickets for the Barbie movie. Yep, that's it. Okay, board games. <gasps> oh, that'll be fun. Board games tier list. Top board games. Top board games. I mean, that seems like a win. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got we got all your essentials here. Great. <laughs> okay, I like that we can switch it to an alignment. You know what? Let's, let's alignment chart. <laughs> neutral good, neutral evil. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, what is that? Great. <laughs> I'm not strong. I don't know. <laughs> Haven't played. It's not even the whole name. Uh. Arcaso. Rosso! R- Rakasso. Gloomhaven. This is one of those games that probably has too many rules and that Jason <laughs> probably really likes. This is definitely a Jason This is a game. Jason game. Like, <laughs> Gloomhaven, Doomhaven, whatever it is. This is a Jason game. I pl- he's true, played it. True story. No, I haven't played it. He's, he's played it. He has a lot of these. Yeah. True story. I played uh, board games with Jason occasionally. Not too often. Part of the reason, though... Is because I, I love Jason. I love hanging out with Jason. I like playing games with Jason. Video games. Like, <laughs> I, I like doing things with Jason. Jason is a very pleasant person. He's very funny. I like him a lot. But. Disclaimer his, from the dis- game. Disclaimer. Video. <laughs> disclaimer. His, his taste in game. And, and to be fair, there is, there's definitely a time and a place for these sorts of games. But his choice of game literally comes with like an encyclopedia of instructions. Oh, really? Like, like we were playing this one game and. <laughs> And each, it was like you're exploring like an old haunted house or whatever. Yeah. And it's cool. And there's like a first half and a second, like something happens in the middle of the game and the house transforms. Oh, was it Betrayal? I don't know. I forget. It was a long, it was a while ago. Oh my gosh. Okay. But it was a cool game. But every room you went to had its own specific set of like first half of the game rules, second half of the game rules. If... If you're playing version 72 of the game at this point, that like each one had its own ver- It was an encyclopedia. And so the entire game, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move to this room. What do I do? What can I do? What is it? And it's like, okay, let me read. 10 minutes later, okay, I'm gonna roll the three. <laughs> it's like, okay, great. That's great. my move for that turn. Next up, <laughs> it's like, okay, read. All right, and it was just like the slowest thing known to mankind. I I'm all aboard it, but even he, as someone who it was his game and has played multiple times, he's like, well, I don't know. Let's let's go to the rule book. Let's go. To, and I don't want to have to play a game where I'm constantly going to the rule book. Let me just play the game. Yeah, I just want to play the game. That's why you know. That's why Yahtzee. Where's Yahtzee on here? Where's Yahtzee? 
Yahtzee. Oh, it's, it's, where? Why can't they design it? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a game. This is trying to recognize the logos. That's the actual challenge of this tier list. That's why Yahtzee is is S tier. Really? Yahtzee. Why would you say Yahtzee is anything under than S tier? I don't know. I think of it just as like the game with the dice. I played Yahtzee with my parents have been in town the last couple days. They just went home yesterday, but they've been in town the last couple days for the holidays. Yahtzee, everyone immediately understands the rules. That's true. Roll dice. Yeah. Done. Very accessible. Very accessible. The level of strategy that comes with it, though, is immense. Ah. Because there, you know, are you prioritizing the top half of the board where you have to get a certain number of points to get a bonus? Are you prioritizing the bottom half of the board? What dice? Are, there are so many choices in oh, that game yeah, that's true. that ultimately affect how good or badly you do. And if you get really deep into it, which at this point, whoa, Matt Pat's really deep into Yahtzee. At this, I didn't real. I haven't played Yahtzee for years. Right. Uh, Steph and I used to play. Then then Ali broke our set. Um, as we're like, let's let him play with the dice game. Uh, and so my parents got us one for my birthday. And so we haven't gotten a chance to play, but they were in town. And so I played, oh. um, which was great. And it was the first time playing in like five years, but I've apparently gotten to like much deeper layers of Yahtzee at this point where I'm like calculating the probability of certain dice rolls in my head. And like, like, Hey, if I go small straight or, or large straight here, what's my probabilities of getting this sort of thing? Yeah. But again, you can do that. You can start estimating mathematical probabilities. You can also do things like I, like I told my parents, right? At one point I got a Yahtzee or at one point my dad got a Yahtzee out of like fours or whatever. And I'm like, here, if you actually put that Yahtzee in the top half of the board, if you don't take it as a Yahtzee, which is 50 points, but put it in the top half of the board, and that is the thing that tips you over into getting the bonus at the top half of the board, that Yahtzee is now worth 65 points as opposed to the 50 the points 50. that it would be on. Because normally it's like, oh yeah, you take the Yahtzee. But no, if you put it at the top of the board. So there's so many layers of strategy to Yahtzee that you would never think about uh, but it's still all, uh, all based in this game that anyone can understand and right. that technically you can just roll and be like, I'm going to take a 15 in chance. Love it. Okay. So, so anyway, I also can I, this is my chance to bra brag about Yahtzee. Uh, in one of these, in one of these games, single, I will never be able to top it. Okay. Single best game of Yahtzee I ever played 431 points. Whoa. Yeah. yeah I got, I got two. I got two Yahtzees in a single game. So if you get two, you, you get one Yahtzee, you get 50 points. You get two Yahtzees, get 100 points. Wow. So, or like 100, it's not 50 plus, it's 100. Like, it's a Yahtzee bonus of 100. I got all the bonuses. I didn't have to take any zeros. Like, my strategy was perfect. It worked really well. And my dice rolls were also very lucky. Like, that's always a big part, component too. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, 431 points in Yahtzee. I was like, ah. Oh! It was, it was, I had I had a good Yahtzee weekend. That that was a good Yahtzee. Yeah, because I also had a three hundred point game oh right gosh. before that. Yeah, it Whoa. was like yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it was great. I mean, it was great for me. It was bad for everyone else. Everyone else. Yeah, yeah. they were they were not having a good time. Yeah, I yeah. don't envy them. Okay, so yes. Yahtzee S tier. That's mine. Okay, here let's go. <laughs> let's go back. Great. All right, what do we got? Candyland. That's one that everyone knows. Everyone loves Candyland. It truly is just a chance game. But that means that anyone can play it. And that's why kids love it. It's true. Ollie, Ollie, that was Ollie's first board game. He can play Candyland. Yeah. So, you know. See. Yeah. It's for candy. Great. It's C for candy. <laughs> C for candy. <laughs> but yep. be because, like, a two-year-old can totally kick your butt in it. Yeah. It has to go. Yeah, it makes him feel good. Yeah. He's like, ah, I can be daddy. It's great. Uh, Let's see. Chess. I mean, like, it, it's persisted forever, forever. So it's got to be it, it's S, a, right? It's, it's a certified classic. It's a certified classic. It's yeah. got to be S tier. Yeah. It's a little, it's, it's so advanced. Right. You know. So it's not the most accessible game. It also takes a long time. Yeah. You know, you got to, you, you got to be committed to chess. You're like, all right, we're doing this. Like, I'm a mid-tier chess player where, like, I can think three steps ahead. But there are people are like, Gasparov, I'm going to do, like, yes. 15 moves ahead of you. And it's like, okay. True story. Uh, I, when we did a collab with Mr. Beast uh a couple years ago one of the things that he was very much into his chess phase um <laughs> where he was learning chess from like twitch chess masters which hey yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> you do you man I, I i i too would love to learn chess at some point when my schedule opens up and do that um or like like learn deep chess but 
we couldn't move forward with the day or like until I played chess against him. Really? Yeah. He's like, before we do anything, you have to play chess against me. I'm like, I, I'm like, Jimmy, I'm not, I have not played chess in like a decade. Like, I, I like, honestly, the last time I played chess was against my dad on a cruise ship when I was graduating from high school. It's like, just not something that I have in my day to day life. And he's like, and meanwhile, I'm going up against, you know, the guy who's like playing multiple rounds every day against, I'm like, like, I'm not going to, I will disappoint you, Jimmy. Here it is. And then at a certain point, I'm, because I, I also, I was like thinking about my choice. He's like, this is taking too long. <laughs> Do the timer thing. And I'm like, uh, okay. okay. Again, that's not where you have to only have yeah. a certain set of moves. Anyway, was, I, to be fair, did not do great. <laughs> wow. And then and then we proceeded to do our 12 hour shoot. So that was that was fun. Great. Um okay, Jenga. Jenga. Uh It's like a The game where you stack up for those who don't know, you stack up the blocks, you poke you poke them out and then you have to restack them on top. To me this has to be an A because I know it's not. It probably shouldn't be, but it has to be an A because it is a family tradition a point of pride in my family to be good at Jenga. Oh, Stephanie really? had to prove herself in a game of Jenga against my extended family in order to win uh, street cred with my family. Wow. We take our Jenga very, we're a very competitive family. Like we're very, like not just my parents, but like my, uh, my extended family is, is actually even more so competitive. They're very heavy into sports, all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, so bowling, Oh, I, I cannot go bowling with them because it is like, it is shameful for me to be with, I'm the black sheep because I cannot bowl for the life of me. I'm not good. <laughs> uh, but everyone else is like pro bowlers. Um, you know, they play baseball, basketball. They're very good at it. Um, but like, you know, at the holidays, we all get together and do Jenga. And if you're the one who like loses, if, especially if you're like from outside the family and you drop the Jenga, like, phew, watch uh -oh. out. Yeah. You have That's... just, you just gotten a, a black mark on your name. <gasps> Oh no, that's a strike. We take our Jenga very seriously. It's a strike. For, for years at the family Christmas, I was always responsible for bringing the new like trendy games in because I was the game guy. Yeah. And so, yeah, but Jenga's the one that has always persisted for us. And that's kind of like the arbiter of like, are you going to make it in this family? Show us your Jenga game. Show us your game. Show us your Jenga game. <laughs> Can you stack? <laughs> Do you have any any games like that in your family, Ash, or anything that's like, oh, this was this was an Im important part of like my growing up? Uh, my mom was really into Blockus because she... I have never played Blockus. What is Blockus? Oh, here it's... it is. So... Oh, is... oh, is that the game with the cars and you have to move the cars around? And... No, so they're like little square, like pieces made of a bunch of squares, and you're given okay. this like square board, like it's basically a grid. Yeah, and you have to try and fit your pieces into the into the grid. So it's Tetris. It's kind of like, like Tetris, puzzles? but you have like three other people competing against you. Oh, that's cool. And you have to fit your exactly shaped pieces into the thing and other people will try to use their pieces to, to block. block you up. Yeah. That's cool. It that is. sounds really fun. It is really fun, but my mom was great at it and she always insisted that we play it because she could always beat us. That's the problem with, and I have this with Mario Party too, where like <laughs> people won't play with you if you're too good. And then at some point, then you get, don't get to play your favorite game. Yeah. It's like, I really want to play Mario Party against people, but everyone's like, but you always win. It's like, yeah, not my fault that you suck. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, my gosh. No, I, that's, that, but like, you know, it's like, oh, I, I, I'd like to play. Yeah. You know, and that's my fear with the, that's the nice thing about Yahtzee. Yahtzee's got enough, enough chance in there that just because I won two of those rounds of Yahtzee doesn't mean I would win the third round of Yahtzee. Yeah, but also like, you would think that with Mario Party, there'd be enough chance, right? <sighs> because like. Yes and no. Like. It's like, you, it's like the illusion of chance. There's an illusion. See, that's the thing. There's an illusion of chance. Yeah. Everyone assumes that Mario Party is so heavily chance based. And there is, to be fair, there's a lot of chance in Mario Party, but. There are certain hedges that hedge strategies that you can use right, right. to help yes. boost your odds of winning, right? Uh -huh. So and and especially if you're playing with the bonus the, the the biggest thing is playing with the bonus stars. If you're playing with the bonus stars, you can almost take the entire game based off of your bonus stars if you're managing your movement correctly across the board. Right. So knowing that more often than not, there's going to be like the mini game star where it's like you won the most coins. So just being good at mini games automatically gives you a huge you leg a star. up yeah. and gives you a star, right? Uh, 
making sure that if you have an option, landing on the, the green spaces or red spaces and those unusual spaces, making sure that you take the opportunities to land on those. Yeah. If it makes sense, you know, usually that's one of the stars, right? Um, stuff around, uh, using, buying or using items is another. So making sure that you're always buying, like those are hedges that help you get those bonus stars at the end, which, they might not pay off, but more often than not, they're going to and in your favor, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's post. So you're planning your post game at the very beginning. Alternatively, and, and then in addition to that, then you're playing the main board. Right. And then right. you have all your strategies there, right? Yeah, so, totally. So yeah, it's, yeah, Mario Party is, is, again, gives you the illusion of chance, but you have enough control over a lot of your, and, and it is like dice rolls are always going to be chance based, but you can set yourself up into situations where it's best possible, right? Yeah, totally. Yacht, again, using Yahtzee as an example, the bottom of the board, if you don't knock out the bottom of the board when you have the opportunity, you lock yourself out of those choices. Like, you force your hand into those choices, right? The top of the board, you could always, like, you could have a bad roll and you could just say, like, oh, I'm going to take a zero and ones or twos or threes, right? Like, that's yeah. easy and that doesn't cost you a lot. But if you're saving your, like, large straight until the end, and it's like, oh, I got to get my large straight this time. And it's like, you don't get it. That's 40 points off the table, right? So like locking, again, early decisions that decisions you make early in the game affect your end game in very significant ways, even in games as simple as Yahtzee. Right. And I'm also thinking about us playing the long game here. And I'm realizing that, um, that one, we didn't know that we were going to do this. So no. we really should have installed an ad blocker. Whatever. Um, it's we're given look Verizon and Best Buy. It's it's a low ad market right now. I don't know if you guys are aware that like right yeah. now everyone's worried about a recession. So hey, if people are willing to spend money on ads to promote their product, great. Please. You know, usually Q4 is is like high season for ads and like yeah. everyone's spending and stuff. It has not happened this year, which we kind of expected going into it. So like we're fine and things like that. But it's one of those things that, you know, hey. I want, if people are advertising, great, all the power to them. Thanks for advertising. Yes. Keep going. And then can we also maybe hit like F11 or something, just get a fuller screen? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, great. I didn't know how much longer we were going to stick on this one. I thought we might jump to something else. Yeah, we, we could jump to something Wait, else. Wait, where's, where's Blockus go? Uh, Here, we're going to speed run these. Okay. Um, It's going to make people mad. B. B. Yeah, Blockus. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, A. A, really? Clue. Um, Oh. S tier. Oh, S. Yeah. Apples to apples. Um, I feel like you should also give your opinions here because this is your tier list. I mean, it's our tier list. Our, it's tier, our collective list. tier list. Um, I would have ranked sorry lower. Okay. I'll give sorry B. Clue is pretty great. It's slow, but it's great. I love Clue. I'd give it A. Okay. Apples to apples. I'm going to say A tier. That's yeah, fun. I agree. A tier. That's fun. Scrabble. Scrabble's another one where people Ooh. don't play with me. Cause I like Scrabble. I like S tier. Yeah. It's persistent for a reason. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. The one time... If you ever get a chance to play Trivial Pursuit, chances are it's always from like two decades or three decades ago. All the information is outdated. And you know nothing. And you know none of it. C. C. If not lower. Yeah. I, I, trust me, I love trivia games. I love trivia games. But any time I've ever been in a room with a box of Trivial Pursuit, it's always like, from the 60s and it's talking about like hey so asbestos is good for you right <laughs> yes yes the correct answer is yes hungry hungry hippo i want to like it so much more than i do <laughs> it but it ultimately just amounts to like slapping the thing yeah, until everything's gone very it's a very slappy game. I, it's very slappy it makes yeah. me sad mousetrap also one of those ones that's so cool but the game itself is so boring and it's and then the setup takes so long like mousetrap has a great brand but when you peek under the surface, you're like, oh, this is, this is not great. It's, it's one of those like, whoa, I'm going to pay a lot of money for this brand. And then you get it and you're like, oh, this is kind of crappy. <laughs> Operation. <sighs> Everyone's Ooh. original jump scare. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> Operation walked so Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy's could, could run. run. I agree with that. Yeah. B? B. Okay. It's so... There's no game like it, though. Yeah, it's There's true. no... I guess they've tried to make games like... Operation, it's it's so hard. Operation, even to this day, <laughs> operate... As an adult with, like, 
very precise fine motor skills. Operation is still impossible. Yeah, I have an operation. I got operation uh, last Christmas for Ollie. And like he's still way too young to play it, but I have it for when he's ready to play it. And I've I'll, I've picked it up. I've played it with like uh, Sophia and Tyler when they've been over. It's impossible. Yeah, it's, it's really so hard. hard. It's so hard. It's it's great. Okay, is it fun getting into trouble? Popomatic trouble. Oh, I barely remember trouble. It's like it's basically sorry, but it's that with poppy a thing bubble. in the middle, right? Yeah, <laughs> with a bubble and fewer moves. I think sorry is like like. It, it gets points for the bubble. It gets less points for the less uh, gameplay. So it's on par with sorry. Yeah. Uh, Monopoly. Controversial. Here we go. Ooh. I really like Monopoly. I do too. A. Do I like it enough for S? No. I don't like... Yeah, I think it, it's No one a. ever finishes. If you could finish a game on Mo- Monopoly, maybe. The end game. No one ever... The, Monopoly is so good until the end game. And then the end game just sucks. Yeah. When the clear, like... Like yeah. front runners, and then you're just, just waiting. And then you're just waiting. And you're like, okay. You go and no and, like, one trades. No one wants to trade their properties. Everyone's like buying and like you can. It's similar to basketball, where like the last two minutes can take an hour. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm gonna upgrade my house. I'm gonna resell my house. I'm gonna mortgage. And then you, there's so many ways to stay in the game. And you're like, okay, just please, just give up. Just is there is there like the the leniency rule or whatever? Uh, crania. Uh, okay, which ones? Shoots and ladders. Everyone's first exposure into <laughs> crushing disappointment as you reach towards the top and then you hit that slide two before the, the ending and you just get sent all the way back down. C. C. It's not yeah. great. It's not great. Uh, there, and there's no, there's like no gameplay to it. What's Again, it's just dice rolls, dice rolls, dice rolls, which again is, is fine for kids, but also snakes and ladders. Snakes. You ever play snakes and ladders? Yeah. What's what's better, shoots and ladders or snakes and ladders? Uh, I mean, it snakes makes... is spicier, but also makes significantly less, less sense. sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, so on one hand, you're like, oh, I want the snakes yeah, game because it's like awesome snakes. But then you're like, <laughs> but what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Why are there snakes and why am I sliding down snakes? It's it's a good question. <laughs> it's weird because it's like. You would think, you know, what stay is, away from the snakes. Here, what is the or why, why, why snakes and ladders in the 13th century? That this is why I was gonna guess. This this is what this was gonna be my guess. Actually, the board game t- today ca- today called snakes. Is it today called snakes and ladders? I feel like it's not today called snakes and ladders. Originated in India, where it was known uh, with the name Mokshapat or Mokshapatamu. Huh. Uh, it's not exactly known who invented it. Wow. It was early 2nd century BC. This was my guess. According to some historians, the game was invented by this guy in the 13th century. Originally, the game was used as part of moral instruction to children. The squares in which ladders start were supposed to stand for virtue, and the housing head of a snake was stand for evil. That was my guess, was this started as some sort of biblical or moral thing, and uh. the snake represents evil. Like Adam and Eve style. Yeah. And so if you follow the snake, you get bit, slide down. Yep. <laughs> and you go the evil route. That was my guess. And so shoots and ladders makes a whole lot more sense. Okay. Risk. Ooh, love me a good game of Risk. I've never played Risk in my life. Really? Never once. Wow. So You would really like it. I feel... You would really like it. Right? I feel like I would too, but no one ever asked me to play Risk. I mean, you would, t- <laughs> I say you would really like it. You would definitely win your first try. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's sweet of you. I oh, I'm, I mean, no, no, I'm just saying like a fact, like you would. Um, <laughs> you seem like touched by that a little that, bit. That means a lot. Oh, uh-huh. that's a compliment. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I would take that sacrifice for you to get introduced to really? Risk. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's th- so we'll do Barbie night and then follow it up with Risk. <gasps> yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. Barbie plus Risk. When's, bar- when's the Barbie movie come out? <laughs> When does the Barbie movie come out? July. Okay, it's gonna be a spicy July. Yeah, I'll okay. I'll send you a Google Calendar invite so okay. that you remember. Yeah, please do. Yeah, that'll be awesome. We'll do it opening night. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. That's okay. awesome. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll I'll ask Dan. Uh, I'll ask Manager Dan. I'll be like, Hey, Manager Dan, can you reach out to who's doing Barbie? Maybe maybe we can go to the premiere. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, no I, way. I don't know. That would be a long... We don't get invited to too many premieres. Uh, but we, he does know some people at Warner Bros. Maybe we could ask. We'll, we'll see if we could... Because that would be awesome, right? That would make That'd my be life. That'd so cool. I, I'd, love to, I'd love to be able to do that for you and for all of us. Oh, like, I think I, that would be a lot of fun. Thank you. That'd be so much I fun. I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> or maybe it'll be one of those times where they're like, yeah, you can come to the premiere. And then instead of going to the main premiere, you go to the side premiere, which is where <laughs> all the like lesser guests go. There's a side and, premiere? Oh, there, I, I like today. I like today because I get to tell weird, wacky stories that people don't know. This is fun. So yeah, I've been to all. At the, the, fortunately, you know, when I was living in LA and stuff, you know, we got invited to a fair number of of premieres because we have a large film channel. And that was very nice, and we're nerdy, and so it get, we got invited to like Thor Ragnarok premiere, which was awesome. That Whoa. was awesome. Um, one thing you never want to do is walk a red carpet, uh, because. Really? I, I got to, I was fortunate enough to walk a couple or unfortunate enough to walk a couple because no one has any clue who you are. And so you have these moments where it's like, Hey, celebrity that we know, D, D, D list celebrity that we know, look over here. And then it's your, like your turn to walk down and you stand and everyone just like lowers their camera. And then there's the one guy who takes like the one pity picture and you're like, all right, move on. And then you have to do that three or four more times at all this because they're, they're broken up into stations and they move along as the person in front of you moves along. So it's so awkward and painful. Markiplier actually just talked about it. He was, he was nominated for an Emmy for In Space with Markiplier and he went to the Emmys and the same thing happened to him where he walked the red carpet and it was the same thing where it's like, hey, so-and-so, ba 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 Hey, old, old TV celebrity. From Markiplier? Yeah. Really? It, yeah. It, it, no one knows this world. It's wild to me that no one knows. It just wow. shows the disconnect and the and the continued like willful ignorance of this world that we exist in. It's wild to me. Wild. Wow. So anyway, the one thing that you can do to, to put, next time you find yourself at a red carpet, the one thing that you can do to help mitigate it a little bit is uh, have your friend or your significant other or whoever you're there with write your name on a piece of paper and walk ahead of you as though they are like the representative of you or like huh. the PA representing you in some way. And that they do this, everyone takes a picture of them. So that way now you you are somebody, even though if they might not recognize you, it helps a little bit. Huh, interesting. Yeah, true story. Uh, that's the way you kind of like hack it in that sort of stuff. So usually when they would, because a lot of premieres too, they'll offer you the invite of like, oh, do you want to walk the red carpet? Like uh, we were at the It it chapter two red carpet uh -huh. um and they're like hey do you want to walk it and i'm like no <laughs> please please no <laughs> please no. <laughs> like that's flattering thank you but no um we're going to the the last of us premiere Ooh. um Ooh. yeah and that's another one where they're like hey do you want to walk the red carpet i'm like i don't think so i'm good <laughs> I think uh, i'm okay yeah I'm, I'm, I'm set thanks uh but anyway so that is the the whole like red carpet thing but in a di and and it's Fun because you get like, and then they give you free popcorn inside. They give you free drinks, like in the small cups, because God forbid you get like a decent sized cup. But they, give, you know, they give you like the, <laughs> the smallest size as possible. Right. I guess this is Hollywood, so you know that's what they expect you to eat anyway, yeah. and then leave leftovers. Uh, whereas me, I'm, I I take three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh yes, please. Glug glug. Oh, I, I haven't even left the concession stand. I'm like, can I have a refill of this thing? Um. <laughs> Smosh movie, uh, they gave out gummy worms because it was partially sponsored by Bright Crawlers or whatever. So That's I'm like, yes! Awesome. All the gummy worms! <laughs> sour, sour Bright Crawlers. It was awesome. Ooh. Um, so sometimes you do that and it's great. Um, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then there are other times I'm trying to, what was it? There was, th there were three specifically and I can't think of any of the specific ones where it was like, hey, you're invited to the premiere and it's awesome. And then you're like standing there. There's kind of like the red carpet thing. You get like, there's like the interviewers or whatever that they don't talk to you, but you're just like witnessing and it's cool and you're behind the scenes. And then they're like, okay, you guys with these wristbands or tickets or whatever, follow me. <laughs> and so, it, and so follow you're me. walking towards like the man's Chinese theater, which is one of the places, like any theater in LA can have a movie premiere. Yeah. Uh, man's Chinese is the most uh, well-known one because that's the one where like, th that's where they stuck their handprints in. That's the Hollywood Walk of Fame one. Oh. That's the one with the big facade. Not the greatest theater, but it's cool because it's steeped in history. Um, and it's really famous, but definitely not the best theater. Um, but there are all sorts of theaters around LA where they, they do these sorts of things. Um, 
But, but right next to the Man's Chinese Theater is like the big shopping plaza where there's like, you know, the actual like normal movie theater. And so you're going into the Man's Chinese Theater and they're like, okay, everyone with these wristbands and tickets, come with me. And you're getting led into like the, the <laughs> mini mall next door yes. to the shopping mall to like the third floor. And they're like, and here's your premiere. And you're just sitting in kind of like this small normal <laughs> theater with all the other like influencer to like all the other like online YouTubers and influencer types and film reviewers. And you're like, all right. Here we are, you know, well, all the like glam and you got dressed up. No one told you this. And that's the, that's the kicker. Yeah. See, th that's fine. I don't care. Like, I really don't care. It's so st it's all funny and stupid to me. It's like I I I love the novelty of it. I'm, I'm honored and privileged. That I get to in invite it to do this stuff and get to do it. But like <laughs> you get dressed up in your finery and then all of a sudden they're like, <laughs> and here's. Here's like the dinky theater off to the side where very clearly we've decided you're not important enough to actually be at this premiere. So we're just going to dump you over to like the, the overflow theater. Overflow theater number three. There was one. There were three of those like overflow theaters. Wow. Yeah. Which is saying a lot too because the main theater is enormous. Like the man's Chinese theater is enormous. So, but yeah, that happens sometimes. And you know what? I would dress to the nines anyway. Yeah. No. And that's the thing, right? <laughs> and, and that's, and, and that's the thing. Like, and it's, that's why I like this world, this digital video world, right? Is because like all of us in that room, the first time it happened, I think it was early in like the influencers getting invited to these sorts of things and the first time it happened like all of us were like looking at each other like wait what just happened like we were all just kind of like <laughs> rug pulled out from under us like wait what happened where'd everyone else go like weren't they weren't we all going to the premiere is this actually the premiere is this the the premiere right here and so we were confused then eventually you know you put two and two together you're like oh and so then the entire time not knowing that no one from the movie was actually there and yeah. represented we were really able to like laugh and joke about it the whole time and it was it was actually really fun because you were there with like other people from the online world and you're like oh i like your stuff i like yours and you're able to like laugh and joke about it and make fun of the movie when it was stupid <laughs> as opposed to being like oh yes excellent artwork yes you know yes. so that was fun but That's yeah, awesome. it's, it is. It's it's cool. And yeah, you're all dressed up and you're having fun. And then you hop out of the mini mall and go to like the Wetzel's pretzels. Yes. And then you're like, all right. Absolutely. You know, instead of going to like the, the schmancy party, it's like, well, I guess we're going to the Wetzel's pretzels then. Cool. Heck yeah, yes. It's cool. Absolutely. Oh, uh, it's fun. It's fun. So that's that's my story. Yay. I don't know where that came from. Well, we were talking about Barbie at one point. Oh, yeah, Barbie. That's it. I'm going to try to get us into the Barbie. Yeah. Great. Into the Barbie. You yes. didn't place risk on our tier list. Oh, yeah, I guess I guess we didn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is how this started, huh? Yeah. Um, I'll give it a B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, all right. So anyway, <laughs> that, I, I'm good here. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm good with this tier list. I'm happy with this. I don't all the other games. I'm sorry that we're ignoring you. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, this is fun. This has been a fun day. I'm assuming we're probably well above time at this point. No, we're still like at a decent time. Yeah, we're at a decent time? Yeah. That's awesome. Here, let's let's look at one more silly thing. Okay. What else we got? All right. Can we look at cow, cow. please? I, I do want to look at cow. Cow. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so <laughs> it's literally zero just, okay. out of ten would eat. I'm scared. It's just a cow. Okay. Cute. Please be my friend. Your guy okay. Out of there. Please be my friend. Please be my friend. All right. Tier list of cows. Here we go. Okay. We've got. <laughs> go for it, Ash. Um, you wanted this one. Let's go for it. Okay. Great. Um, the Squishmallow is definitely. Uh, please be my friend. Please be my friend. Easy. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Solid. We're in agreement. Squish. Next. Um. Squish. <laughs> <laughs> Squish. All right. Um, going left to right. I'm afraid of what the first one is. I'm scared. I'm yeah, scared. I'm scared of that one too. <laughs> uh, otters are too prominent. It's it's oddly shaped. Yeah. Uh, the human face peeking through concerns me. Don't love it. Yeah. Um, that one. I'm also kind of scared by that. What do you think? Uh, I mean, it's it's also kind of just a cow. It is right to me. This one's just a cow. Yeah, it's got udders. Udders, you're, you're you're kind of you know you're doing it's it's just part of the anatomy, right? You're gonna have to be dealing with that. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's just a cow. Um, next picture with the mama and baby cow, very cute. Cute, cute, hundred percent, love it. 
I wouldn't go and please be my friend because I don't want to infringe on that relationship. Yeah, I don't want to insert myself where I might not be wanted. Right, exactly. Yep. I feel the same way. Yeah, great. Um, Very cute. This guy? Yes. Cute. He, right? He's he's snooting. Yeah. He's he's be snooting the camera. It's really close to please be my friend. I might go back and change him later. Right? That one's, that one's close. Yeah. I would agree. You know what? I'm, please I'm be just my gonna, friend. I'm going to push it yeah. up there. That That's a friendly cow with a pleasant snoot. I'm like, please be yeah, my friend. Yeah, definitely booping that. Boop. Um, okay, who's this guy? Uh, it's it's a cow. It's just a cow. I agree. Oh, it's no, a no. cow. Yeah, it's just a cow. But we respect it. We, you know, we recognize your cowness. And yeah. We respect that. 100%. Um, that looks like a cow. <laughs> this also looks like a cow. Uh, to me, yes. We only see its body. Well, a little bit of its head. I don't know. I kind of. It's very I th- tiny. I don't. Want, here's the thing. I would eat it, but zero out of ten. I I I, I feel zero. like he deserves more than zero out of ten. You see. I'm in a better place here because I don't really eat red meat. That's true. So, you know. Fair. I, yeah. So it's just a cow. All right. Just a cow. This one. Cute. 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 Agreed. 100% cute Canadian cow. Cute. One of the finest cows that Canada has to offer. Yeah. Um, Pillow pet. Cute. Okay. Pillow pet. Um, Right? But not quite friend. Yeah. Right? Like, on one hand, I recognize your cuteness. I don't know if I want you to be my friend, though. I'd, I'd give it a hug. Yeah, friendly hug. But let's leave it at that. Yeah. I don't want to get too close. Um, cow art. It's a cow. Just a cow. Yeah, it's not, it's it's a fake cow. It's also trying too hard. You think it's trying too hard? It's, it's a try-hard cow. Like, look at it, holding its uh, f- uh, flower in its mouth. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Pick you me. Doing, cow? Pick yeah, me, it's like, cow. oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't try to impress me with your flower cow. Get out of here. No. <laughs> this. Uh. Cow. Really? I'm scared. You're scared of that? I'm scared of that. What is that? What is this? It's terrifying. I mean, he's elongated. But... It's like a wall of cow. That's a, a, a cow wall. Okay. I don't like it. I'm scared. Okay. Sorry, we have to disagree on this one. It, it, it's it, it's your dreams. Uh, please be my friend. Please be my friend. I agree. Yeah. Good. Right? right? Yes. That, that, when, they, when they're just ready to like snuffle up. Yeah. Oh, let me boop you. <laughs> let me boop all of them noses. <laughs> Booping all of them cow noses. It's great. Great. This is wonderful. I liked this. Thank you. Canada, Canada's Birds. got some quality cows. Cow. How do you, how do you think we did? Did we do good? I think we did great. I think we passed with flying colors. Yeah. All right. All right. That's canadian tier list I'm we could probably fit one more one more characters yeah sure <laughs> great <laughs> characters there's any number of characters animated men ranked on hotness um hot non-human characters <laughs> good with 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 the fi- the angel fish <laughs> from finding nemo you got my attention yeah when it comes to clickability chill <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> jail perhaps therapy wait a minute let's discuss this strangely this makes much sense let's do unspeakable things no questions asked wow <laughs> unspeakable wow things. all right is this what we're going with is this our is this what we're ending on okay, okay great uh is j- jail is just like no no right okay i really don't like brian griffin yeah i i just i don't I'm not a big fan of the character the show is kind of obnoxious sometimes. Well, if just... we're talking about, like, uh, hotness, right? Well, also, if we're talking hot... I mean, sure, if we're talking hot... I'm, I'm taking the whole... I'm taking the totality of these hot, non <laughs> What is it? Hot, non-human <laughs> male characters. Yeah. I'm taking the totality of what they are and what they represent into this. And Brian represents a lot of things. I'm like, eh. Uh, okay. Not, not really a turn on. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> Smash or pass, pass. <laughs> We should have done a Smash or Pass episode today. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, here we go. Who else? Who else is a kind of like a winner? Well, let's just go left, right. Okay, left, right. Okay, hey, Max. Um, I would say cute, but like a pass situation. Right. I feel like this comforting, is comforting, but yeah, like I think this this feels more Smash or Pass spectrum. Yeah. Right. Rather than like oh, because there's no like hey let's just be friends. Yeah. Territory. So if it's smash or pass, Baymax is like mid tier. Yeah, like, like, so let's, like let's discuss this. Like, yeah, friends. Yeah, We're friends. Uh, Sully. Let's say friends. Okay. He's cool, but yeah. Yeah. 
Great. Genie. I know where mine's. I, I, I can see it. I know where mine's. This top. Ten. <laughs> I'm oh, here. I'm here for it. All about it. Yeah. All about it. It's a genie, man. Yeah, yeah. He's he's really good. Genie, it, it, literally anything you want. Okay. Make your dreams come true. Yeah. All your wishes are yours. <laughs> Echidna. Knuckles. I would say, strangely, this makes much sense. I, so we did an episode a long time ago about the anatomy of echidnas <laughs> okay oh no oh no yeah i just processed where that was going yeah oh dear yeah oh dear yeah so so on one hand if it was just knuckles as a uh, knuckles the character like oh yeah he, uh, like cool guy strong like fun character pretty awesome but you're talking about the Idris totality <laughs> Idris Elba, cool talking about the fact that he's an echidna with echidna biology. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm looking up, go search for the old game theories about echidna biology. Because uh, there are some weird quirks about echidna biology that are very pertinent to this discussion that make it very uncomfortable. <laughs> so that, that, that gives me pause, Ash. Let's discuss this. Okay. Let's discuss. I feel like there's a lot to discuss with Knuckles. Yeah. Okay. Tramp from <laughs> Lady and the Tramp. Real pulling out the spiciest of characters. Uh makes sense. Okay. He's he's a rousing guy. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> what does today become? E.T. Therapy. Yeah, great. I agree. That's where I was putting him. Yeah. Ice Age. How you feel about the Ice Age movies? Um, you know, I'm not personally there, but I could see it. Right. For this. Stra strangely, this makes sense. Yeah. Strangely. Uh, what are these from? I feel inclined to say jail, but I don't know the full <laughs> right, context. I, I, right. Don't judge me. I'm going to say jail. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just possums in general. Uh, jail. Madagascar? I can see it. For the lion? Sure. But like. Yeah. Yeah. Kirby. Okay. Kirby, I think, is... That's... If... if uh, <laughs> I... Uh, like, he's very, very cute. If we're talking about hotness, it's like, um... That's concerning to me. Right? Yeah. See, if this is truly a tier list, like, of Smash Pass, Kirby, great friend. Yeah. Like, great he's, ally. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Goofy! Oh, yuck! <laughs> oh my gosh Ooh, I, I'm gonna let you take the lead on this one Matt <laughs> oh let's just discuss it I think I, he's we'll like mid he's like he's like mid-tier like let's be friends I feel like we'd be good dad friends yeah he's a good he's, father he's a good he's a good, he's a good dad father. he's a good dad friend yeah good dad friend minions jail yeah <laughs> immediate <laughs> all right Rex he's friend shaped friend shaped great jungle book uh, oh gosh, it's been a while. Um, He's cool. This makes sense to me. Okay. Shrek. I feel like you have to do let's do unspeakable right. things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shrek is love. Shrek is love. Exactly. Shrek is in the back rooms right now, as we previously established. Exactly. Like, Shrek is in the back rooms. He's love. He's like, he is everything. He His new Puss in Boots movie spinoff is yep. apparently a banger. So why not go on theme with that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> My gosh. <sighs> oh, this is how to train your dragon, yeah? You know... This makes sense. Yeah. Strangely, this makes sense. Look, I can see yeah, that. yeah, I can see it. Yeah. All right. Rocket. I could see. Uh, I could see it. I, 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 okay. Go, go with your opinion because I know what a lot of people would say. I think a lot of people are going straight here. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Right? Yeah. Where are you going though? Um, I would say strangely, this makes sense. Me too. I, I get the appeal of Rocket. I understand yes. the appeal of Rocket. I do too. He's a little bit too chaotic for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. A little mm. bit too... He, he's a little bit too spicy. Too like, spicy. Like on the spicy... Like Shrek level of spicy is like, I could do Shrek level of spicy. But you're trying to settle down. Yeah. 
<laughs> Rocket's a little bit too spiky. Uh, Rocket is like a, a, a one and done. And I, I'm looking for more commitment. <laughs> Looking for a guardian who will stick with me. Drax, on the other hand. Drax. Immediate top tier. Oh, yeah. Totally. He He's a committed family man. Mm-hmm. But also, like, he's got all the spiciness of Rocket, but all the commitment and stability of Shrek. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hon- like honestly, that's pretty good. It is pretty good. Drax, top tier. Top tier, 100%. All right. All right, great. Shark Tale, girl. Come on. What? She's a queen. Okay. There's no denying it. Queen. Wow. Yeah. Great. I don't. I've, I've never seen Shark Tale. Should I see Shark Tale? I think you should. Okay. <laughs> I'll be able to judge more once I've seen Shark Tale. Yeah. Okay. Venom. Strangely, this makes sense. Yeah, and I know why it makes sense. It does. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like we need to discuss things though first. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The female fox from Fox and the Hound. <laughs> no name necessary. <laughs> She is only there to provide a female love interest for the fox. It is yeah. very random. True. I know nothing about this character, but knowing nothing about this character. <laughs> okay, great. What? I mean... No, I get... I, she is designed to be the sexy fox character. Yes. Just say yeah, I understand. I, I understand this. Pongo. Pongo, friend. Good friend. Yeah, father. Good friend. Yeah. yeah, good friend. Strangely, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. Strangely, it makes sense. Sure, sure. I, you know, I get it. Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> ka Ka-chow. ka ka right to jail. Yeah. Lightning McQueen. Mater. Mater. Strangely, this makes sense. Okay. No, does it not make sense to you? I was going to go straight to unspeakable things. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. Really? We love Mater in this house. <laughs> <laughs> we really love Mater in this house. <laughs> Megamind, unspeakable things. I know I'm skipping, but Hopper. I could see it. Strangely, this makes yeah. sense. You're a friend zone. Yep. I mean, clear yep. like, like yep. The, the whole internet memed around that one. Right. Jail. Jail. <laughs> Just pure jail. jail. Immediate. Yes. No, you're too smooth. No, he's too slimy, actually. I think. Slimy. No, nah, he's too, he's too smooth talker. And I see what he does with the, du- the dust, duster. Yeah. I, I see his treatment of the duster and I don't love it. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. Puss in boots. This makes sense. Yep. Scar. Immediate. Yes. Uh, Unquestioned. Like that. This and Shrek. Are the two clearest decisions on this top tier for me. Perry. Perry goes... I just want to be cool with Perry. Yeah. Perry and I... You, just, d- you like, don't want to cross him. Yeah, I don't want to cross... Like, Perry, let's just be cool friends and solve mysteries together. Uh, C-3PO, therapy. Yes, like, I agree you, with you're, that. If you're going with that, you have some deep-seated issues. Uh, animal. This makes sense. Not for me. Again, he kind of falls into rocket territory. We're like, ah, a little bit too chaotic for me, but I understand why. Gnome guy from the show the jail. <laughs> Just jail. Pure jail. Well, that concludes today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, of Hello Neighbor 2. What you think of the game? Should we continue playing the game in the future? Let us know. Did you enjoy analyzing it frame by frame? Because I know I sure did. Man, can you believe the lore reveals that happened? Man, some of those puzzles were real challenging. Yeah, it's still a little janky. Yeah. A little, I wish they would really dial in the mechanics of these games. I know. I, it was kind of, I will admit, like, I was kind of surprised when you could just kind of no clip through that door. Right. Um, And then suddenly you're, like, going down the stairs into the basement. Surprised, like, but not surprised. You'd like, think that, like, you, you know, something as simple as, like, crouching and going towards the door would you know not have been play tested it. or something yeah, yeah 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 no i'm also a little <laughs> bit disappointed that it feels like i have to read the books at this point yeah like like in order to really understand the lore i feel like there's parts of it that are going over my head and that they're really requiring me to read the books and watch their tv show which i will not do maybe i do it will one day i think that's just ridiculous for a franchise to ask expect, of you yeah right yeah yeah snaff <laughs> get out of here but no so that's that's our take on hello neighbor 2 let us know what you thought of hello neighbor 2 down in the comments below we'll probably continue our playthrough in a future upload but in the meantime hope you're having a uh, you had a great holiday we'll we'll be back with more actual content at some point but in the meantime thank you so much for watching please don't cancel me and as always <laughs> remember hey it wasn't a live stream but it was a video a video for you uh, see ya